Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Molinado again. I have another story that I want to read you that's very near and dear to my heart. It is called Only One You. And this story is very special because it talks about how we are all unique and we are all special in our own way. And there's only one of us and we need to learn to embrace how our differences make us who we are. Some of us are, you know, better readers than others. Some of us are better at math than others. Some of us are more creative and artistic. Some of us have more musical talents. Some of us are shy. Some of us are more elaborate and like to be in front of the camera all the time. And some of us are quiet while some of us are really loud. So I'm going to read you the story today called Only One You by Linda Krantz, and I know it's one of Mrs. Calabrese's favorite stories. And if you ever have a chance, when we go back to school, in our garden, you're gonna see a lot of rocks that the children a few years ago with the art teacher um, were able to paint. And everybody added their own design to the little pebble that we added to the garden next to um, our school number three building. All right, here we go. Only one you by Linda Kranz. It's time, Papa said. I think it is, Mama agreed. Time for what, Adri asked. Papa's voice softened. To share some wisdom. It's time to share some wisdom. Always be on the lookout for a new friend. Look for beauty wherever you are and keep the memory of it with you. Always find beauty in what you look at. And if you don't, search a little harder because there's something great and beautiful out of everything. Blend in when you need to and stand out when you have a chance. So look at this little river rock right here standing out. And this one here too, where everybody kind of looks the same, they're standing out. It's good to stand out too. Find your own way. You don't have to follow the crowd. So you don't always have to follow the crowd. You can make your own decisions and make your own uh, path. And know when to speak. Know when to listen. No matter how you look at it, there is so much to discover everywhere. There's so much to discover everywhere. If you make a wrong turn, circle back. If something gets in your way, move around it. Set aside some quiet time to relax and reflect every day. Appreciate art because it's all around you. Art is definitely all around you. Make wishes on the stars in the nighttime sky. Thank you for listening, Mama said. We hope you will remember. Papa winked and whispered. We know this is a lot for you to think about. And Adri did a backward somersault and smiled. He was excited to go out into the world with what he had just learned. Wait for me, he shouted to his friends. And they're all his friends. Now look at them. I want you to take a close look. Are any of them exactly the same? I don't think so. Because everybody is different and unique in their own way. In a good way. Before he swam away, he turned back to his parents and said, I will remember. Mama kissed Adri on the top of his head. There's only one you in this great big world, she said. And there is only one you. And the only way there's more than one you is if you have an identical twin. And I think we have a lot of twins in our school, but I'm not sure there are any identical twins. That means you look exactly the same. Your genetics are exactly the same. There are twins, but even with twins, you're still different and you're you. You're your own unique person. 
Let's make it a better place. Let's make everywhere a better place. Now that you're home, I hope that you remember to be kind, to find balance, to dream big, to focus on being calm, to hold hands with someone you love, only if they're in your house, of course, because of social distancing rules. Savor the good times, find your passion, Remember that you are all amazing and Miss Molinado is so proud of all of you and you're all so amazing and there's only one you. And each one of you has a story and place in my mind and in my heart because you're each unique in your own way. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my read aloud, only one you. And if you would like, you can draw me a little pebble and design it or maybe I'll try to post um, on my website some copies of little pebbles that you can have your parents either print out or you can kind of trace and make your own little rock at home and send me a picture with it okay remember there's only one you i love you and miss you all goodbye